Hello, my loves. Welcome to today's video where I am just channeling all this electric energy that I am feeling. So much peace in me and so much intuition seeping through my body. And so I just wanted to come in here and share that energy with you while I also share with you some of my insights on how your you how you are more, more valuable than money how you are your million dollar business how you are more valuable than really anything on this planet really more important than many money and how this is so because so many entrepreneurs forget this thing they forget about themselves they forget that about the value of their money, of their body, and they put their business so much on a pedestal. We believe that as entrepreneurs, we are the money that we are bringing in. We think that our value is worth the business success that we are making. Our value is worth how many clients we have, how many customers we have all that we base our value based on that but I learned it the hard way through actually making the mistakes but I also just want to come in here and share with you how your you and your body is more important than anything else when you are an entrepreneur when you want to make an impact on this planet when you want to be a leader and this happens first of all for me through me shifting and narrowing down my niche to serve entrepreneurial women. So before all this, I was talking to everyone. I was talking to just women in general, just so broad, really talking to anyone. But then I made this investment in myself, in my business to get a coaching, and they really told me to like find out your niche, find out your soulmate clients. And that was really hard for me at first, you know, because I thought that once I focus my niche, once I focus my niche onto entrepreneurial women, I thought that everyone else would just leave me. Like everyone, you know, I would be, I would be just, I wouldn't be able to help the woman that I'm making before. I thought it was about, you know, letting go. I, I was just about true about letting go, but I learned that through letting go, you also make more space to invite more energy, better things yet to come your way. And I learned that through my market research, through talking with women, uh, you know, entrepreneurial woman really. I learned that my heart just lights up on fire when I'm talking to you entrepreneurial ladies. You know, women who want to make an impact, wanna wanna build a business, want to create things that are so much more than than themselves. And women who see, you know, that your body transformation and you getting your dream body is not just about you. It is about you elevating your consciousness, you elevating your being so that you can impact more women, so that you can impact more people on this planet. And I know that a lot of entrepreneurial women goes through the struggles such as overcoming judgment from people, you know, because you are going out of the box, you are doing something that you, you're, you are so passionate about something and your heart wants something, but many other people judge you, they don't get you. You have to overcome so many things such as like feeling lonely on your entrepreneurial journey, feeling like, you know, sometimes lost, like where do you even start? So facing so much limiting beliefs, limiting beliefs telling you that you are not able to build a business. Who are you to think that you 
can build a business you know who are you to think like you have to overcome so much through that not just in fitness but also in entrepreneurship you are facing those struggles incessantly not just in fitness where you feel like those doubts those insecurities in your body like you also feel that in your business and that's why those two realms combined they make the best personal development growth journey ever and those are the two things that I personally go through and I know that my heart just wants to support you ladies entrepreneurial woman you know because you have so much of a calling and I want to held hold you with so much love and support and that was how I realized that was how I realized that you know your body is so much more than you know your body you and your body is a lot more worth more than your business that you are building your income and such so I realized this early on like a couple months ago and now I'm just diving this all deep into and I feel like whatever everything that you know like I want to speak every when I'm like just connecting through my through the source I just have to act as a channel to the source and all those words that I want to speak everything that comes from my heart is serving and it's like helping women and I just feel so much fulfillment so much abundance within me you know even if I don't have like a hundred clients yet I feel so much abundant already like I feel that energy that fire sparking in me that I'm meant to do like what I'm here to do and I want other entrepreneurial women to feel that way too but however most women are trapped on this masculine based energy in the business just like how I was before I thought that you just have to grind out the hours like that is so common and it can be like toxic in this entrepreneurial realm that you just have to do things grind things you know and to in order to be productive you just have to like feel miserable at the end of the day like being people think that being productive is where you feel like totally burned out totally just everything is you know um, you just give everything all your energy away into your day and people think that that equals success that equals wealth that is going to make money but I realized that before as I was going on this niching down path to this entrepreneurial woman, I realized that before I was in this energy where, you know, I thought that the more content I create, the more that, you know, I bring revenue to my business, the more, the more I create, the more I provide value, which is true to some, to an extent. But I was, I felt disconnected to my heart. Like I sometimes just the, I'm just like making videos, but I, I know what I'm producing, like I know the value that I'm creating, but I don't sometimes get lost on why am I, why am I even like creating all this, you know? And I feel like in this masculine energy, I was also trapped there because I was comparing my business based on other, other students who were inside my business coaching program that I was going through like I was comparing their wins against myself and I didn't feel like I was worth it because you know I didn't bring in that much revenue and I did have to hit that goal and it was so much about doing so much about achieving so much about just you receiving all those awards you know all that money like you just achieving hustle grind like that entrepreneurial thing that is so prevalent but I realized that when I was doing that it doesn't matter how hard I was trying the people that I was attracted to me were also in that energy that energy who were like stressed who were burned out who were depressed about their lives like who can who haven't figured like, like their life on their own like and I'm not trying to, you know, I'm not bringing anyone down. I'm not saying one is better than other, but I just realized that, you know, those were the people who were not ready to transform, you know, who were just, who just felt hard because I was hard on myself, who 
just felt hard to also transform with by themselves because I was also hard for my themse- myself. So that's how I learned that doing doesn't equal success. It's more about being. And now I feel so much more attuned to my feminine energy. I know that I don't like doing more isn't getting more. It's about doing less and and receiving, tuning in and connecting with your heart, your body and your soul is what actually makes you different as an entrepreneur. Like knowing who you really are, know your true essence as an entrepreneur because there is so many there's so many entrepreneurs out there trying to sell this almost the same product as you, you know, trying to serve the same clients as you, but if you are not knowing who you really are and no know, not knowing what is unique about you like not knowing who you're what you're meant here to do and not listening to yourself and your body all of everything that you're doing is really useless so which is why it's more about now i know that it's more about receiving it's more about surrendering to the process because you do things half with intention you do things with intention you tune into that intention and you do create things with love and create things with flow and let the universe do the half of the work let them let all those your dream clients or your dream customers let all of them come to you all you just got to do is tune in and connect to the source and it's not about you trying from a to z so that you know is not you trying to find out like being too attached to the people and worried whether like you or your income goal and whether this person signs up with you you know for your product or your coaching or or not about that anymore it's about you just truly embodying the essence and you feeling like a million dollars you feeling so much peace so much abundant energy that people just come to you and they resonate with you it does it is not about whether who you where you are right now it's not about the reality that you are li- living in right now that reality will shift once you shift your being and your perspectives so that was what i learned and i also learned through investing in myself you know through business uh, business coaching through investing myself in like so many different ways of even mindset things I just learned that you are more valuable than money in fact when you have money there are three different ways on how you can invest your money in and one of the ways on how you invest how you spend money is through what most people would do with their money. You know, 95% of this population would do with their money is they would buy like clothes, fancy clothes, fancy car, fancy houses. Let's say you get a million dollars, like ask yourself, what would you do? That's what most people would spend on. They would spend on houses. You know, it's more about like showing off, you know, your success to other people. It's about you just, you just like, proving to the world that you make it so that's how one ways of how people would spend money and the next way on how people would spend money is through investing in um, mutual funds or you know stocks and bonds like learning about money and making money work for itself that's the second way of how you're investing money and the third way of investing money is actually the best way of how you invest your money in because that is where you invest in yourself so you invest in things like coaching you know it can be fitness it can be transforming your body it can be through tr- through just like learning and integrating with you with your being and just evolving and growing as you invest in yourself that is the most valuable investment that you can do because let's say Let's say all the money on this planet got wiped out. Like, all, let's say there was a crisis. Where would people go to if all the money was wiped out? They would go to those people who invest, who invested in themselves, who have grown, who have transformed. And it's just like, you know, 
ex people like Grant Cardone, you know, on one of his shows, TV shows on like, he was just taken, all of he has was he just had to restart from zero, you know, with a hundred dollars. Like when you look at those people, because they have evolved so much, because they have grown so much, it doesn't matter whether they're, all their possessions are stripped off or not. Because once you start, even if they take, if people like if even if your houses got burned down it doesn't matter because you have invested in yourself you have grown so much so you know how to make everything back so that is why i am so big on coaching and that's how that's that's why what i am doing what i'm doing because it's more about evolving who you are and transforming who you are so that is why you are much more valuable than the money that you're bringing in, you know, the all the possessions that you have with you. And two main pieces on how you are a lot more valuable is number one is your energy. Your energy is a lot more valuable. It doesn't matter whether you have time or not. It doesn't matter even like if you have lots of money you won't be able to do what you love and you won't be able to just live in that abundance, that freedom, that so much joy if you don't have the energy. And you won't be able to show up in your business if you don't have the energy, if there are blockages within you. Like, it is not about the energy that you feel in the gym, like how strong you are. It is more than that. It is about the energy where you feel like you are just open you're just open to channel. You're just open to share with the world. You're just open to just show up and be yourself and be truly confident. It is that energy. That is why the energy is the one most important aspect. And how do you get that energy? First of all, you gotta clean your body. First of all, you gotta work on your body because if you are unhealthy, if you're eating junk food, if you're not working out, you know, if you don't feel good in your body on how you look, like even if you feel you think you have so much confidence within and you have so much to share, it will be blocked. That is why the second component, your body, is also your most important asset. Because your body is a vessel for your soul where your soul resides on this earth for this temporary being and your body is how how i've learned to function my business and how i've learned to just function with i've learned to listen to my body when with my business or with anything, with food, with what I eat, with what I work out, I listen to my body. Like, am I pushing hard enough or am I pushing too hard? Am I eating enough? Am I eating the right kind? Like, that's what I teach inside my coaching, inside my 90 day transformation program, Curves Confidence System, because this is not about learning more things. It's about learning how to integrate the messages from your body. Your body knows a lot and your body is unique and your body is special to you. That it, and for your business, you go, also gotta listen to your body. You gotta listen to your body and listen to your body because that's where you tune into your heart. That's where you, you just know it from your heart that you know whether you're, you're speaking to the right niche or not or whether you are promoting the right product or not, whether you are doing the right advertisements or whether you are marketing it right or not, like your body knows. Like ask yourself when you have write, written a content or whether when you have like made an entrepreneurial leap, you know, made a movement in your business, ask your body again, like take a deep breath and then just really listen on what your body is sharing. Is it something that is exciting you? Is it something that where you feel tense, where you feel nervous, you know? Or is it something where you just feel so much joy and so much abundance, you know, where you just feel aligned? 
I just want to share with you that your body knows everything. Like your body, your heart knows a lot. Your heart knows who you are. It's just that there are blocks within you that the society has kept us. Like society has made it harder for us to really realize who we are because we thought that we have to fit into a mold. We have to be perfect to a certain extent. But all the answers is within you. That is why your energy and your body is much more valuable. It is so much capable of making, building a million dollar business. It is so much capable of creating the life of your dreams. Everything is within you. And that is what I just wanted to share with you here today because I know that, you know, as a light worker, like there are, you are also a light worker. You are wanting to impact the world, but of course, with almost every human being, there are times when you know we just get stuck, and sometimes like we need this little hand holding, we need this little like more love. Like I just want you to feel love, love to yourself, believe in yourself as much as I believe in you, and I have so much faith in you. To whoever is watching, watch, watching now or watching it again later, I just want to share with you that you have so you are capable of so much more than you can imagine. And all that we're doing through with my Curves Confidence System 90 Dairy Transformation Program and through my content and everything is that I'm just helping you realize that aspect within yourself because when you sometimes see in your physical body, in your physical realm that you know, you have achieved something that you have always dreamed of doing. You also know that your internal mind, your your spirit is so much more capable. So that is what I want to share with you today. You know, you can get fitness coaching really anywhere. You can Google things on the internet. But my intention and my energy is my ultimate gift for you. My intention of really sharing you with just the information, not the misconceptions like the magic diets and all that is going to work for you. It's floating around in the internet. Like that's my intention is just showing you what you ultimately need for your physical body transformation as you build your curves, your muscles, and get that really strong, healthy body. But not just that, it's my energy and my presence and my love for you. And I hope that you are feeling it's so much. I want you to maybe tonight, after you've listened to this, maybe go through, you know, take a deep breath and listen to you, what your body is trying to tell you. Where is it trying to guide you? And really listen to it. You know, intuition is one of the most precious gifts that we have as human beings and also visualization. Visualize it before you even achieve it. And I know that you are well on your path there. So yeah, thank you so much for being present with me here today. I just feel so much more divine connection through me. Of course, with almost every life, you know, there is this nervous energy, but when you just let go of yourself from any judgment on how many people is viewing the stories, how many people are viewing the life, when you just let go of people judgment, of judgment about yourself, and you just let it shine through, let the messages going through your body just shine through, that is when real magic happens. And I hope that you even transform internally, externally after you watch this video. So yeah, thank you so much, my loves, for tuning in. And I will see you on my next Divine Life video. Bye.